My name's Anthony, and on behalf of the Urban Farmer Store, I'm going to show you how to test the electrical wiring on your irrigation control using a volt ohm meter. A volt ohm meter allows for the easy analysis of power, solenoid, and valve wires. Using these simple tests can save a lot of labor and frustration. Use the voltage setting to test for power. This determines that the controller is getting power and that the transformer is working. Turn your voltmeter dial to the 200 volts AC setting. Put one probe to each of the terminals marked 24 VAC. The voltage should read between 24 and 28 volts. This confirms that the controller is getting power and that the transformer is working. If it does not, then check the AC outlet, circuit breaker, or GFCI. If there is power at the outlet, then the transformer needs to be replaced. Buy a new transformer. Testing station output. This test confirms if 24 volt output is happening at the controller. Each station is set up to run manually while it is being tested. Set the voltmeter dial to 200 VAC. Put one probe on the common terminal and one probe on the station that is running manually. Repeat this test for each station. If the voltmeter reads in the range of 24 volts, then the controller is providing proper output. If one of the stations is bad, it may be time to replace the controller. If there are extra working stations on the controller, use a spare and reprogram that station. If more than one station is bad, replace the controller. Testing Continuity This test is for the wire, connection, and solenoid. Continuity is the pathway of the wire through the solenoid back to the controller. If the connection is open, the resistance, ohms, is high or infinite. If it is very low, there may be a short in the line or solenoid. For this test, no stations should be running. Turn the controller off. Turn the dial of the voltmeter to 200 ohms. Remove common wire from the terminal strip and place one probe to it while holding the other probe to the station terminal to be tested. A good wire run in solenoid should measure between 24 and 30 ohms. There are some exceptions to this range. Rainbird solenoids are between 35 and 40 ohms. On a given site, each reading will be within 1 to 2 ohms of the other. A much higher reading indicates a poor slice, nicked wire, or solenoid that is starting to fail. A much lower reading indicates a partial short somewhere on the wire or in the solenoid insulation has started to break down. Note, if two valve solenoids are wired to the same station, the reading will be low, about half of normal. A reading of zero indicates a short. If an open circuit or short is noted at the clock, then a separate test of the solenoid coil at the valve is indicated. Testing the solenoid. This test uses the voltmeter to test the resistance of the solenoid. Turn the voltmeter dial to 200 ohms. Remove the wire nuts from both wires leading from the controller to the solenoid coil. Pinch a voltmeter probe to each of the bare copper on the solenoid wires. For most good solenoid coils, the reading should be between 20 to 25 ohms. If the resistance reading is good at the solenoid, then look for faults in the wire, back to the controller, or replace the wire. Thanks for watching. And remember to go to our online library at urbanfarmerstore.com to view the accompanying PDF. In the search bar, type in Volt Ohm Meter. The Urban Farmer Store sells Volt Ohm Meters in three convenient locations around the bay. When troubleshooting your controller, this is the one tool that will save the day.